Welcome back to Coding Along. You're watching the JavaScript for Beginners Part 2 and here we're going to talk about basic syntax, rules and structure of JavaScript. Let's get to it. We're going to talk about a few syntax rules for JavaScript and this is going to be very very helpful when we actually start programming in JavaScript so we can actually write valid code that JavaScript actually understands. So the first thing we're going to talk about is JavaScript is case sensitive. So you can see here we have this alert and this basically just makes an alert if I remove that, which we're going to talk about what that is actually. You see you get this is a statement and this right here, if I write another one and I use the capital alert, it doesn't work. And the reason it doesn't work is because we use the capital letter and JavaScript inbuilt function, which is this alert here, doesn't know what it is because JavaScript is case sensitive. So you have to make sure whenever you're making variable names or function names that you actually put the right case. If we change this back to a small a, we see we get the alert that actually shows. So this is number one and it's very, very important. We'll create a function and we call it JavaScript. JavaScript function. And you don't have to actually worry about this syntax. We're, all, we're going to talk about all this. And now when we want to call this function, if I say JavaScript function, like I did right here, but I put an S, a small s, this is invalid. It's not calling this function. If I have another function that is written like this, it will call that. But this function right here, it's not going to call it because JavaScript is case sensitive. So this is very important and Make sure you keep note of this and remember this because if you don't remember this, you will have a lot of code that is not working. It's not going to function. So the next thing is also we have to realize that JavaScript contains many statements and all these statements are ending with this semicolon here. And this semicolon is just like when you have a sentence and you end it with a period. So that's basically what it is in English language and in, in programming, the semicolon basically tells you JavaScript or tells the IDE that this is the end of this statement. And it's not totally necessary to have it because if I remove it, you can see that this alert still works as it just did right here. But the problem is if we have another statement close to it, it's going to be a problem because it's not going to know where to stop. So right now, Let's see, you see we get an error. It doesn't know where to stop. And it tells, it says invalid syntax. So this is another thing to make sure you know and just make it a good practice to always put a semicolon when you are writing your statements and when you're ending them basically. Make sure you put a semicolon. The next thing we're going to talk about is this here, right here. What I'm doing right here is basically a comment. It's a one line comment and this is used for talking about what your code is doing on a higher level saying okay this is an alert but the whole point is normally you wouldn't really need to put this because this is a very basic function um, statement but when you have a lot of code and different um, functionalities you will need to put the comments to actually explain what you're doing very well in the code. So the next thing we're also going to talk about in this, we have, this is a single line comment and we also have multi-line comment, which is this here. So this is for multi-line. If you want to make a comment that is more than one line, you use this. And this also sometimes is good to also, maybe you're coding and you, you don't want a particular code to work. Basically, you don't want it to be part of the code. You can just put a multi-line comment on it and that basically turns it into a comment. Yeah. The next thing we're going to talk about is JavaScript is not sensitive to white space or line breaks. I don't know if you're familiar to Python, but Python is sensitive to white space and line breaks. What I mean by that is that here we do not have to put, if we put another alert, we can create as many spaces as we want. And it's still going to work. We can create this space, that space. It's still going to work because it's not sensitive to white space. We can put
put this here and we'll see it still works because all this does not matter it's, it, it doesn't affect your code but the right practice is to make sure that you act, you put the codes which are similar in functionality or which you feel should be close to each other because they affect each other you put them close to each other and the one that actually maybe does something totally different but it's still affecting the code put that further away you can create some space for that one now the next thing we're also going to talk about is that javascript runs from top to bottom so that means that when you're writing your javascript code you need to understand that the first code there is what is going to work like if you see it here you see this this statement first this is a statement first shows before the, the second alert shows so that means that that just shows that javascript runs from top to bottom and this is very important when you're writing your algorithms or writing the logical concepts for your code that you make sure that you write it in the right order or if you're making different tests especially when we start talking about if L statements or when you're looping you should make sure and don't worry if you don't understand all these things I'm talking about we are going to go through them in the course so yeah this is very important and it runs from top to bottom because when you're writing your code it's good to factor that into it just a quick summary JavaScript is case sensitive second thing is that JavaScript contains many statements and all those statements are ending with a semicolon and we also talked about one line comments using this slash here so it's very important and also the multi line comment using the hash star star hash and this is also very important it can also be used for debugging the next thing is JavaScript runs from top to bottom and the last is JavaScript is not sensitive to white space or line breaks. So yeah, that's it 